Hi, family of God. This is Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in your spiritual growth, ranging from powerful word of God, powerful prayer sessions, night videos, and many more. On this channel, all the content that we create on this channel are purely Christian content, and I entreat you to subscribe to this channel and like this very message you're about to listen to. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it is what you hear that you listen to, that you engage, that brings results into your life. So I encourage you to stay tuned and watch this video to the end. And do subscribe to this channel and put in your comment section what you feel about this message. God bless you. Living carelessly, just living by instincts, by feelings will be a risk in this time. For instance, the Bible says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. It's a risk to not be close to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Death can call you like an invitation and you can just carry yourself and get into trouble. There are people who left their houses because of insensitivity and lack of discernment. They went and landed into trouble. Somebody stole and just when police arrived, they were gathering everybody there. You were in your house minding your business and you say something pushed me. As soon as you came out, they said join them. You see how people look for trouble? You need high level sensitivity. These are seasons where not every open door is God's door for you. It's not, Satan does not only close doors, he opens doors. He can open a door for you, you call it breakthrough and go and crash land yourself in trouble. People are just jumping around and say, ah, there's one business like this, everybody is doing it. No prayer, no counsel. The Bible says in the multitude of counsel, there is safety. You don't ask, you jump into it. And the next thing you just hear that they are calling you. You call your parents and say, you're of age, please go. And you go and stand there and you begin a circle of pain. Is someone learning now? I remember one time in Zaria here, somebody told me that he used to hear a voice. He didn't know anything about the realm of the spirit and he would hear a physical voice. This is the voice of a departed person who had gone, calling him. You know, and he thought it was a dream. You know, like your sister, you, like you are, are dreaming, you are awake. And I told him, I said, listen, when you get up, don't just say yes and whatever it is. Yes, is giving it permission. You take your Bible and say the living and the dead have nothing in common. There is, there, is, there is a gulf of separation. Don't answer yes to the call of death and die for no reason. You wake up and there is a demonic dream. They are throwing you inside, coughing, they are burying you. When you get up, don't say I'm finished. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over that dream. Everything remains as a fiction in the realm of the spirit until your faith allows it to find expression here. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that I am exceptional. Say in the name of Jesus, I am anointed. Say in the name of Jesus, I am blessed. In the name of Jesus, I am favored. In the name of Jesus, the word of God defends me. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Decree and declare, say men are sent by God. To hold my hands and to lift me. That when men say there is a casting down. I make a declaration that for me and my family. There will be a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ. That's how you live. That's how you live. You must convince yourself that this is the integrity of God's word. Please sit down. Let's touch on the remaining two very quickly. Number three. What is the third strategy for these perilous times? Are you ready? Number three. Embrace unity and the power of corporate Christian living. Embrace unity and the power of corporate Christian living. Hmm. Write it down, please. Embrace unity and the power of corporate Christian living. 
Hebrews chapter 10 from verse 24 and 25. There is a dimension of God's power that is invested in unity and in a Christian community living. In fact, you've heard me say this, that the key to sustaining kingdom values is Christian community living. While it is true that we must be people of the secret place, when it has to do with excelling in the cosmos, believers must know the power of unity and the power of corporate living. Isolation is a risk, especially at times like this. It says, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Verse 25. Let us not forsaking the assembling of ourselves as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Can I tell you this? Corporate living community living is a very powerful principle for living and surviving in the cosmos especially among believers most believers neglect the fellowship of the brethren they neglect interacting with other a larger body of believers and sometimes that happens in this deception and isolation of wanting to know God for myself. On one hand, that is right, I just taught you. But on another, there is a difference between solitude and isolation. Solitude is good because you are spending time with God. Isolation is the devil deceiving you to strike you. Now, watch this. How many of you have seen coal? When you are burning coal to cook with red hot coal. Just carry the tongue and pick one hot one and just drop it. Don't do anything. What begins to happen to it? It goes down. This is what is happening to many of you. You've heard me say that one of the ways that the devil destroys and damages your spiritual life is to give you an impression that you are superior and better than everybody. What can I receive from my pastor? I have more revelation than him. I, the man is not even doing all, And that pride will bring believers into a point of isolation. And that's it. Let me tell you this. Community living is, a, is powerful because among the many things it does, it can help to bring checks and balances to your life. Somebody can easily observe when you practice community Christian living that something has been wrong with your prayer life. Everybody will be afraid, but one or two people will have the courage to approach you in love and say, I've noticed that um, you are not really open for prayer. What's the problem? And the Holy Spirit will echo through their words and jack up your prayer life. It is dangerous when you are alone, especially in pride. Because even at the height of your fall, Satan will still flatter you that you are alright until the day he strikes you once and is done with you. Are we together? Yes. Community living. When you read your Bible, Jesus was never, there were few times when he was alone and only to retreat and sleep. Even as Jesus angels ministered to him they always came around him and then he was with his disciples and he was with the brethren read your bible time for koinonia no 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 there's nothing there i'm not there's um i will just i will download the message one day that's how it starts the trap of deception community living is powerful even from a security standpoint for for years in this ministry and i think we still do we have the database by the grace of god of the membership so that if for any reason there is a call for any security response i think that 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 um that became weak when this dnd thing and the rest and started coming if not i remember and we had enjoyed it the first time we used it was after one post-election violence i think it was in 2011 or so and then the other one that happened I, I can't remember now what what year it happened it is very very important community living can help to protect you there are many of you who for instance i'm showing you wisdom keys you can get up just because you have some money and enter a community where you are the only person of faith 
and now dwell, smuggle yourself in one apartment where everybody is not around, only you. The thief does not need to hide. He will open the door and say, I'm a thief, I'm here. Just come out and lie down and keep shouting while I steal because nobody will hear you from that point. These are wisdom principles that believers don't have. There are times that some of you have sent me text messages and say, I am at so-so place and I told them, no, look for a house so-so-so place. I can support you. From me, I, 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 are you getting blessed now? I'm, I'm trying to be very sincere with you. Especially if you're a family person, you are moving to a region, there are things you should look at. The proximity to security aid, proximity to medical aid, proximity to the market. These are some of the things they teach this in architecture, urban and regional planning. This is not even just about spirituality. There are factors that you look at. How many minutes will it take you so that you don't die the death of a fool? There are many people who would have been rescued on many grounds if only they were within a space and a community where they would help him. There was a time that the apostle wanted to enter a city and he was afraid. He said, do not be afraid. I have many people in this city. Are we together? It is very, very important. There are many things we have done as a ministry by the privilege of God's grace. We've invested through the years to maintain strategic relationships first out of a heart of love but then by wisdom to maintain relationship across religions and the rest with people as much as God will grant us that grace and it has worked in many regards community living is a very powerful key there are some of you you don't know anybody in the house of God as soon as they share the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, you look at everybody as if, oh, you are superior. My father is a senator. My mother is a, works in NMPC. And you push down everybody. That's, and that person you are pushing has access to 10 soldiers and 5 policemen. He has their number. Be fruitful means be relational. If you are not relational, you cannot be fruitful. Are we together? Thank you for staying to the end of this message. But before you leave, I want to tell you a story. There was a father who has two sons. And so he sent two of his sons to the farm, like to go and harvest yam. So he called them both and sent them. The elderly one says he is going to go, that he is going to like go on the errands but the younger one says he's not going to go and so they left the presence of the man and behold the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went but the one who says he was not going to go at a point he thought within himself and said my father has been very responsible for me so I will go. So he changed his mind and went. So I want to ask, among these two sons, who actually does the will of the father? It is the younger one. So as you have listened to this message, it's not about listening alone. If you're listening, and probably you feel stirred up. But later on, the zeal, the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies. And you do not apply this message, it means the time that you dedicated listening to, to this message was a waste. So it is not about what you share alone, it's not about the messages that you listen to alone. It is more of what you take out of th those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um, better. So I do hope and I pray that this message will transform your life, will turn your life around.